Scootler. Stars, gossip, hype. So, Jake, your time in the Big Brother house has officially been, what, how would you say it, wrapped up? Yeah, <laughs> oh, the puns. From the outsider's perspective, your position is being one of the biggest personalities, but in actual fact, it became that you were flying under the radar. I don't think I flew under the radar. <laughs> it's just like, these things happen. You can't, this is the thing about Big Brother. You just have to expect the unexpected. You have to remember, at the start of the game, there's so many people in there. So you can very easily fly under the radar. Right. And I think for you, you have a very big personality, and we saw that on the launch night. But do you think it was somehow diminished by there being so many big characters in there? Um, yeah, a little bit. Like, And everyone had talents, you know? Like, everyone was so talented, and it was like, OK, let's watch another Lawson Magic show, you know? <laughs> like, was it hard to keep the fact that Tim Dormer was your house? Housemate from the house. No one knows that, especially Sky. She's got no idea. I, it was, and then when he came in, I was like, "What are you doing?" Like, and then they sit, they sat me like at the very other end of the table, and I was like, "I was like, great, get him out, just get him out. I'm sick of him." <laughs> but did Big Brother say to you that Tim Dorn was coming in that day and try no. and? No, not at all. Big Brother just said, um, "We've got another guest," and I was like, "Great, a chicken," and it was Tim. <laughs> So before going into the show, did he give you advice on how to audition or did he give you advice on how to play the game? No, the, okay, so what Tim gave me, he just said, he goes, Jake, it's all about taking risks. So that was it, you know, he's like, I know you'll be fine, but take risks. So I guess the, I didn't take enough risks on Friday night because Friday nights are the parties and yeah. it's like, if you want to be seen, you got to take those risks, but yeah. Do you think that you wish in some way that Tim didn't go into the house because once they, once the public were fully aware of it, it brought a level of dishonesty, do you think? Mm, a little bit. Like, that was one of my fears going in. I was like, I'm not a shadow of Tim. Jake's not in the house um, to be a, uh, you know, a Tim clone by any means. Yeah. Tim is... Yes, Tim has played Big Brother and he's done well, but I'm very different to Tim. So I just wanted to be myself and, like, I didn't want... I didn't want to, to, for people to see me as in the shadow of Tim or, like, following in Tim's footsteps, like, I don't know, like... It was massive news, like, it was the next day after Tim Dormer was on Kyle and Jackie O, you know, talking about it, so it was pretty controversial. <laughs> yeah, well, he's known for his big mouth and his curly hair, so I was, like, just waiting for that to come out, like... <laughs> Absolutely. So, when you were in the house, you got partnered up with Gemma, yeah. and Gemma was equally hated on the outside, really, as she was on the inside. How do you think that affected your time in the house? Um, look, I had this crucial moment with Jam where I just kind of realised that she was this crazy strategist and slash Big Brother fan and I just had to go and accept Jam for who she was and when I finally accepted that and knew that she was there, in there, gardening, I was like, cool, I was at ease with it. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't know what the outside world thought of her, but I was like, cool, I got a six foot six gardener, this is great. <laughs> I called you Jake and the Beanstalk. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> did you climb her? No, oh, no. We did kiss once, maybe twice. Yeah, we kissed in the spa, but <laughs> no, I didn't climb her. Matt Gemma was brutally evicted in a way mm. that the public found to be a form of maybe bullying, or they yeah. found it to be very harsh. Yeah. How was the impact of Gemma's eviction inside the house? Uh, yeah, everyone was like, that's. It, it was tough, like it was a very tough thing to deal with, especially like me knowing Jem's story of being chosen. And I think, yeah, it was a tough thing, but I think people saw the truth with Jem. It was kind of like, okay, you're here and you are stirring the pot, you're causing these like eruptions to happen. Yeah. And they were questioning whether she was being herself. They, that's what they sensed out. And so that's, I think, why it was a little bit of a landslide. But like, you know, Big Brother's a game. So she was in there to play a game. So. It's, it's, it's just a really tough thing, like, the way that she left was a little bit harsh, but it's, yeah, the way the cookie crumbles, you know, like... That's what she signed up for. Yeah, exactly. Can I talk about someone that you maybe dislike? Yeah. <laughs> what is the deal with Leo, and what are your thoughts on Leo? Leo is just gonna, he's literally in there to walk all over whoever he wants. Like, he's, he's there to win, that's it. Like, and knowing that I was spending time with Sky, he didn't talk to me at all. Um, he didn't want, really want to get to know Travis, he kind of like brushed, you know, brushed past him. Yeah, no one really bonded with Leo and I don't know whether that's because he's an intruder or whether he was just like, man I'm a 
PG that's really spiritual. <laughs> but you, you actually live with Australia's number one game player, and you're telling me that you don't get along with Leo because he's a game player? No, not that he's a game player. It's just that, like, I don't know whether he's telling the truth. Like, if he was Australian, maybe I could relate, but... Yeah, he used to be a, like he told me that he used to be a um, battle rapper, but he never like rapped at all. You know what I mean? I was like, he actually had a record label. Yeah, well there you go. He told me that he was signed to a label and he used to battle people in raps, but he didn't show me his talent. And if I'd seen that, I might have believed yeah. him a little bit more. There was a lot of relationships for you in the house that we watched. We were following: were you going to be with Sky or were you going to be with Lisa? Yeah. Um, out of those two girls, who did you genuinely like? I like them both, like each to their own. They're very different. Like Sky has this amazing spirit, whereas Lisa is, has this amazing strength. And for me, it was just I was torn. I was like, I generally feel um, like a little bit emotionally attached to Lisa, but Sky was just this breath of fresh air that I just couldn't resist hanging out with. So it was like again <laughs> the triangle. <laughs> Do you know what fence setting is? Sitting on the fence, yeah, not choosing. Yeah, so you can't fence it with me. Yeah. What? So you. Oh, what are you <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, well, since Leo came in, it's pretty obvious that I was gonna go. I'm not. wasn't obvious that I was going to, but it's obvious who Sky wanted to go for, so Lisa. So you're picking Lisa? I'm picking, picking Lisa, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there were so many questions online when you first entered the house and then during your time about your sexuality. Do you think because you're a bubbly, vivacious kind of guy yeah. that you have that question a lot? Yeah, and also people are like, oh, Look what you wear. Like they just judge me for what I wear and like I guess that that might elude. I don't know. I'm just very comfortable with who I am. Are you aware that Lawson and Kat have been kissing and uh, hooking up? Everyone was literally like, he, he was gutted the next day, he goes, I'm never drinking again. What I got from Lawson was that I don't know whether he was certain about his relationship and being, you know, being prompted and like it's this element of lust. You go in there and you're like, your mind is in a million different places and for something like that to happen, add in the mix of alcohol, boom, you've got possibly a new relationship. How would you feel if you were Lawson's girlfriend? I'd be, oh, I don't know, I'd probably be gutted. Like, I think it's, it's bad on Lawson's half, like, but it takes two to tango, you know? Like, Kat's put him in that position, but, like, Lawson's accepted that. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you think that the house are now expecting a double eviction every week? Yeah, they're all they're all on edge. They're like, okay, it's going to be a double every week for the next couple of weeks, and they know it, and the mood on Monday and Tuesday is just so, like, it's awful. Yeah, it's, everyone's anxious, it's catty, it's just like, everyone's kind of, they're predicting things, yeah. and, yeah, it's just not nice. What are you going to do with the $5,000 that you want? Oh, buy? I thank Lawson. Um, thank Asia. I don't know, like pay my rent? <laughs> I live in Bondi, come on. <laughs> it's yeah, expensive. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. One of the questions that people had is, now that you've come off Big Brother, yeah. do you have an ambition to audition for The Voice? <laughs> Why? The Voice is a singing show. I was like, yeah. I wasn't singing, I was like rapping. Oh, well, there's a, I think there's a place in the market for it. Really? A rapper on The Voice? Maybe. Who do you think's playing the game the most? Leo. Yeah. <laughs> if we've got a dart, if we've got a dartboard, would you throw a dart at Leo? Yeah, numerous. It'd be like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we didn't get on. But... I'm really surprised at this because I think of you as being so loving and sort of carefree and so nice towards people. It's so strange to see you having such a strong opinion. Yeah, I guess. One, because I'm open and like I just didn't give me the time of day, you know, like it'd be 30 seconds in a conversation and then he'd be gone. So I'm like, mate, just give me a little bit more time or like it was just sell, 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 sell for him. And I was like, okay, cool. Do you want to hear anything about me or not? No. Mm. So that's, I was like, all right, I'll shut the door. It's closed. Yeah. I hate, I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who do you think is going to be evicted tomorrow? <sighs> that's a huge question. Like... Knowing the game of Big Brother, I think, like I thought, from the house, I thought Dave. But from the outside, I think Lisa. You know, like, yeah, Dave seems to be like, oh, see you guys, I'm gone. Like, no one likes me. But, yeah, on the inside, on the outside, I'm like, yeah, Lisa, maybe. Do you have any regrets from your Big Brother experience? None. None. Like, I was put in a doghouse with a six foot six woman. Like, what could I regret? Like, everything was fun. <laughs>
I want to thank the people at Scoopla for their yep. for your time in the house. Um, thanks to the people from Scoopla for my time in the Big Brother house 2014. It was awesome, and thanks to Ben for recapping my moments. <laughs> I'm here for you, buddy. <laughs> Scoopla. Stars. Gossip. Hype.